Hi, uh, so I'm going to do an upper body uh, workout today. I'm using dumbbells, but that's up to you. If you're just starting out, you don't need to use them. But um, you know, any anything that you can hold on securely and safely, the same way to each side. A couple of tins of beans, anything, whatever you want, as long as you can find something like I've said that is the same weight, and you can hold them without, you know, with confidence that you're not going to drop them. So I'm going to start with a tough one, straight in. So first of all, though, we need to stretch out. So press those arms back. You've got your thumbs up and your palms forward. Really press back. Reverse that position. So now your thumbs are facing down and your palms are back. Press. Bring those arms all the way up and round. Like a really exaggerating, really exaggerated swimming movement. Backstroke kind of thing. Oh. Now up into that position and you're going to bring them in and press back in, back. Really press it back. Push, stretch it out. Roll those shoulders. Bring the other way. Lovely. Really sort of, and push those elbows back. Push them back. Beautiful. Right, so I'm going to start off. Tough one. And again, you don't need the weights. But I'm going to use the weights. So I'm going to start this one on my knees. I'm in the plank position. The dumbbells, or your hands, are under your shoulders. And what I'm going to do is I tend to prefer having my either feet or my knees a little bit further apart just to help with balance. So what you're going to do, you're going to straighten your back and you're going to pull the dumbbell or your hand up. Pull that elbow up. Now I'm looking at the camera, so that's sort of angling my body slightly. But your chest needs to be facing straight down. You need to be facing the floor. Try your best to balance that body. And remember your elbows are going straight up, not out. Stabilise that position. Don't drop them. Don't drop those weights or your hands. Control it up and down. Now again, you can progress up onto your toes, which makes it tougher. Of course, and clearly it is because my voice has changed entirely. Oh. Do your best. Oh, one last one each side. Blow me neck. Beautiful. Oh, awesome job. <laughs> oh, so I've got my window open. I can smell cooking. That's not fair. Oh, somebody's doing a barbecue. Hopefully, just with their family. Not inviting mates round. So, now I'm laid on my back. I've got the dumbbells touching my chest. We're not here. My elbows are right out. And I'm going to push all the way up. And I'm going to bring all the way down. It stays at chest level all the time. It doesn't go over your face. Keep it straight up. And lower down. Your feet are down on the floor. Your knees are pointing straight up. And once again, you don't push up and then drop down. You lower down with control. Bring it all the way down. Going to do one more. Lower it down. Beautiful. Awesome. Now, what I'm going to do now is, uh, let me try and get a different position so you can see better. Now I'm going to do a fly. So, the position of my arms, if I was sitting up, would be like this. Slight bend in my elbow, the dumbbells are above my chest, and I'm flying out, I'm pressing out and bringing back in. You can do it 
seated, seated, seated or standing, but I'm doing it laid down. So once again, you've got your back press into the floor. I'll try and do it from that position, maybe you can see a bit better. So above your chest, slight dip in those elbows, and you're gonna really press out, lowering those elbows down and pushing back up. You're not straightening your arms at all. I have to move a bit because I'm hitting the bed frame here. <laughs> Lower it down. Press back up. Lower with control. Press back up. Now, focus on your chest muscles. Tense them as you're pushing up. Use them. Really focus on them. Really flex those muscles. Because that's what you're working right now. You're working your pectorals, your chest muscles. Breathe as well. Do not hold your breath. Slow and steady. Maybe do two down, two up. This is your last one. Beautiful. Bring those arms down. Relax. Wonderful. So, the next thing we're going to do, I'll lift you up here. Now what, I'll lift you all the way up there because I'm going to stand up. So, our next movement is going to be a hammer curl into a lateral raise. Remember, you don't need weights, you can do it without. But the important thing is to tense your muscles. I'll show you. Right, without weights. What's that? Yeah, yeah, really? You can't see anything, there's nothing going on. But if I really tense my muscles and really push against that, really feel it, I can really feel that working. My muscles are working, so that's what I'm doing. That's your movement. So if you're holding the weights, or whether you are or not, your palms are facing into your body. Your chest, up, your shoulders back and down, your elbows are in and back. And you're gonna raise all the way up, lower down. Ooh, my phone's gonna fall and lift up to the side. Silly phone, behave yourself, what are you doing? What's going on? So right, we'll start. So up, lower, up to the side, lower. Up, to the side, chest up, shoulders back and down. Remember to breathe, do not hold your breath. Remember those elbows stay in and back on that hammer curl. Keep those shoulders down. Got one more after this one. It's your last one. Beautiful. Roll those shoulders. So, now I'm going to step back with one foot. I've got, the other fo uh, I've got one hand here on this leg that's slightly bent. And what I'm going to do is a row. I'm going to pull. This is just sort of hanging down at a slight diagonal forward. It's not hanging completely down. Just bring it there to about there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my bum back a little bit, look straight down, and tuck that elbow up and in. And lower back down. Similar movement to that very first row we did in that plank position, that renegade row. Really pull that elbow up and in. Don't push it out to the side. Bring it up and lower it down. If you bought yourself a set of dumbbells years ago and you never used them, find them. That will be your last one on that side. Use them, find them, do it. Chuff me, come on, crack on, let's get working. This is the time to dig out all your DVDs, all your old, um, I forgot what I'm doing now, where am I going here? <laughs> I'm a weird, because bed's in my way, I can't get into the right position. All that old equipment you bought and you sort of thought, oh, it's right. You were all full of determination. So let's pull up and back. Get it back. Get back that motivation. Push yourself. We're all at home a lot more than usual, most of us. 
a lot of us are at home all the time. So use that time to work on yourself. Remember, you're pulling that elbow up, not out. Beautiful. I think I did 11 there because I was too busy jabbering. Roll those shoulders carefully and slowly. So now what you're going to do, you get your arms up in this position. Again, you don't have to use the weights. You're going to pull them in, pull your elbows in, push them out, raise, bring that down. In, out, raise, bring that down. Breathe. Push as high as you can go. Bring those elbows in. We've got two more. It's your last one. Carefully bring those arms down. So, what you're going to do now, again, with or without the dumbbells, your palms are facing in, and you're going to raise all the way up and lower down to the sides. So when you when you finish, you're in that position. The end of the dumbbell is into your side, and your palms facing forward. Then from there, you bring it back that way. So that's your start position. That's your finish position. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking, is it? Right, so let's go. So you're going to feet quite apart, get a nice solid base, raise all the way up, slowly lower down to the sides. Up, down. Breathe. Do not drop. Lower. When I was a PT, when I was actually working as a PT um, in the gym in the gym in Dewsbury, I had a client, lovely, lovely woman, Jenny. She was in her mid sixties, and she's this was one of her favourite moves. She used to love this. Every time I bring it out, she'd go, "Oh, I love this one. Really feel it stretching me out." That was your last one. Beautiful. She was fantastic. Brilliant woman. Yeah, mid sixties there with PT in the gym. Shifting weights. Stop using excuses. I'm too old. I ain't got enough time. I'm too unfit. You should have seen me when I started. Anyway, right. That's lost. I've lost my uh, focus. So, no, I haven't. Of course, I haven't. I'm going to do a single front raise. One arm at once. You're only raising to parallel to the floor. Your palms facing down. I'll do it from a different angle. There. Oh, it looks a bit higher, that. Breathe. Slowly, slowly. Chest up, shoulders back and down. Watch that posture. Two more each side. Again, remember, we're resisting that movement back down. We're not just dropping. Our arms are straight. We're not bending those elbows. This is your last one. Beautiful. Lower those arms. Just roll those shoulders. Whew. Brilliant. So I'm going to do a basic bicep curl. So your palms are in. You're going to bring it up. Then you're going to take it down, up, down. Again, you, your elbows are tucked in and back. Twist that wrist on your way up. Up. 
That's your last one. Beautiful. What are we on? Right. So, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is a, um, I'm going to press back. So your palms are facing back in that direction, yeah? And it's up to you, either feet together and, and lean in, or you can have one foot back. Doesn't matter, as long as you've got a stable position. Stick your bum back a little bit, lean in a little bit, and you're going to press back and lower. Back, lower. Again, lowering, not dropping. Really feel those triceps working. This is your last one. Beautiful. I want you to do all this workout and I want you to do at least one set of everything. At least one. But maybe no more than three. Definitely no more than four. Just do, do it. Do, do it. Yeah, I need a drink. Women are so frightened of working their upper body. Why? Yes, I've got tone in my arms because I used to, a couple of years ago, I used to weight, I used to weight train extremely heavy, five days a week at least. So I got really quite buff on purpose. But you're going to get strong, you're going to get lean and you're going to get fit. That's what it's all about. It's not about getting big and bulky. Now, that's all I want to do. I don't want to get big and bulky. Got a bit giddy, so I stopped doing it. And again, I was shifting some very heavy weight. A lot heavier than a couple of three kilogram dumbbells. Let me tell you that much. But anyway, there you go. So the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to do a, a rear delt raise. So I've got, I'm in this position. I'm here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press up and back. I'm going to go up, diagonally up, sort of like a, don't know, like a wing motion. Press it back. Keep that slight bend in those elbows. Again, don't get to the top and then drop back down. Last one, that's 10. Beautiful. Woo. Uh, and the next thing, one at once or both together, entirely up to you. I'm going to step back and I've got me arm up, the elbows high as I can get it and I'm going to put that hand, squat myself through that hand and that foot, that leg and I'm going to go up and down. Now I'm not going like that, I'm not doing that, my arm is up, my elbow stays up, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, lower it, eight, not drop it, nine, ten. Hopefully I didn't lower the elbow at all. We all do it. It's easily done. Sometimes it's easy to just lose your focus. That's why I'm watching myself in the camera. So do it in front of a mirror. Yes. It's not about being narcissistic or thinking, oh, look at me. Look at me, me snazzy gear. With me big weights. It's about checking your form. That's supposed to be what the mirrors are there for. They're not always there for that, but you know. So we're going to do that other side. I've got the wrong side. <laughs> it's this is bed. It's messing me up. So again, I'm going to put that arm up there, and I'm going to raise and lower. I've actually got in line there with the ceiling, which is quite useful. I'm going to try and stay there. Try my best. It's not always possible. That's quite a good guide. Last one, and lower. Oof, just have a shake out, I need a drink. Right, so. I'm going to bend, I'm going to lean in and my arms are here and I'm going to pull up and out with it. Your elbows are coming out this time, they're staying together, your uh, dumbbells, and you're going to pull up and lower, up and lower. 
really pull up as high as you can with those elbows and press them out wide think about those shoulder blades coming in together one last one beautiful what time are we on right that's it for today that's 20 minutes so get those fingertips together at the back press up 20 minutes so yeah like i've said do it twice 40 minutes is a decent time in fact probably take it won't take you as long because there won't be much talking and, and i'm i've spent time demonstrating stuff so yeah probably do that twice probably gonna take about half an hour perfect one hand in front of the other, push forward, really shove those shoulders forward, really stretch them out. Put one hand up, one arm up, sorry, tuck it behind, bring your elbow in and press back, not through your elbow, don't have it here, press back underneath your elbow. Release, do the other side, tuck the elbow in, press back. Release, put your hands here, open up that chest, press those elbows back. Really stretch out. A slow and focused twist round really do it slowly and focus on really pressing round oh. have a wiggle palms back thumbs down press back and hold really press press back as ha as, as far as you can stretch it Release, thumbs up, palms forward, do it again. Open up that chest, really press back. Release, clasp your fingers and just try and reach up as high as you can. You're trying to sort of press back, if that makes sense. Gently release. Have a wiggle, have a twist, quick a twist, have a shake, <laughs> have a round of applause, thank you very much, upper body, give it a go, do it body weight, do it with a couple of weights, a couple of tins or whatever, just do it, Fitness by Susie on Facebook and YouTube, I will see you again next time, thank you very much and bye bye for now.